Professor Scott, Bond's work, Mass Deception, Moral Panic and the U.S. War on Iraq, delves into the intricate web of societal psychology and political maneuvering that characterized the United States' involvement in Iraq. Through a lens of moral panic, Bond dissects the methods employed by the government to manipulate public perception and garner support for a controversial war. The central premise revolves around the idea of moral panic, a concept within sociology that describes a collective fear or concern amplified and sensationalized by the media and authorities. Bond argues that the Bush administration masterfully exploited this phenomenon to justify its invasion of Iraq in 2003. By capitalizing on public anxieties post-9-11, the government propagated a narrative that linked Iraq to terrorism and weapons of mass destruction, effectively constructing a climate of fear and urgency that demanded immediate action. Bond meticulously dissects the propaganda machinery that was set in motion, highlighting the role of media in disseminating and amplifying the government's narrative. Through selective information, cherry-picked intelligence, and skillful rhetoric, the Bush administration crafted a compelling storyline that portrayed Iraq as an imminent threat to national security. The media, complicit in this narrative, became a powerful tool in shaping public opinion, contributing to the moral panic that gripped the nation. Moreover, Bond sheds light on the psychological mechanisms underlying this manipulation. He explores how fear, fueled by uncertainty in the trauma of 9-11, made the public susceptible to accepting the government's assertions without critical examination. The manipulation of fear and the exploitation of public sentiment served as linchpins in mobilizing support for a war that, in hindsight, lacked substantial evidence to justify its initiation. The book delves into the repercussions of such mass deception. Beyond the political ramifications, it explores the ethical dimensions of a government's deliberate distortion of facts to justify military action. The toll of the war on Iraq, both in terms of human lives and geopolitical stability, stands as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked power and the consequences of moral panic manipulated for political ends. Throughout the analysis, Bonn invites readers to reflect on the responsibilities of both the government and the media in shaping public discourse. He challenges readers to question the authenticity of information presented by those in positions of authority and emphasizes the critical role of a vigilant and questioning public in a democracy. In conclusion, Bond's Mass Deception, Moral Panic and the U.S. War on Iraq offers a thought-provoking examination of the intricate interplay between politics, media, and societal psychology. Through a meticulous exploration of moral panic, propaganda, and psychological manipulation, Bonn unveils the mechanisms employed by the government to justify a controversial war. The book serves as a cautionary tale, urging readers to remain vigilant against manipulation, question authority, and uphold the principles of truth and accountability in a democratic society.